So what exactly will it take for the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates this summer? Central bankers may say one thing, the market's another when it comes to one important part of the economy. Steve Leisman explains why. Investors were caught by surprise this week by increasing talk from the Fed of a possible June rate hike. One reason for the surprise, the April jobs report had been weak and wouldn't seem to be enough to justify a hike. But the Fed, they had a different take. Payroll gains of 160000 were just fine for them. That's because Fed officials appear to have a lower standard for job growth than the markets. For the markets, 200000 has become the mark of a healthy payroll report. For the Fed, it may be as low as half of that. The kind of growth that we'd be expecting would be 80 to 100,000 jobs per month. So while 160,000 is not as good as what we were seeing in the first three months of the year, it is probably good enough to continue to get labor markets to tighten up a little bit more, to get a little bit closer to my own view of full employment. What the Fed looks at is the level of job growth needed to take care of the increase in the workforce. In other words, what keeps the unemployment rate roughly unchanged around 5 percent or lowers it just a bit? With immigration down and baby boomers retiring, the economy needs less job growth than it used to. Fed Chair Janet Yellen has put the number at just around 100,000 jobs per month. San Francisco Fed President John Williams says it's as low as 80,000. All of that raises the question, what happens when the May jobs report comes out two weeks from now? The market could be disappointed, but the Fed, with its lower standard, could still hike. If we get a 150,000 number, for example, uh, the market may view that as a disappointment, whereas I think many in the Fed would view that as well in excess of what is sustainable on a long-run basis. So I think right now there is a gap between what the market and the Fed think are good jobs numbers. The best bet for investors, hope for a lot of job growth because that's good for profits and it's good for the economy. But be prepared. What's disappointing for markets could be just fine for a Fed that has lower standards. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.